Skylar Franklin, USA 400 meter champ, high schooler, switches allegiance to Jamaica, and the power couple of all power couples in track and field talk why they're so attracted to each other. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. Drop a fill at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. And ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, Noah Lyles, the double world champion from 2023 in the men's 100 and 200 meters is currently dating Jamaica's 400 meter runner Janelle Broomfield and when I say these people have chemistry people them have chemistry it's obviously two people them like each other wally 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 uh, in this podcast they discuss what attracted them to each other and I thought you just might find this interesting plus them are wear the Jamaican colors including Noah Lights me take a look good part them Okay, I'm going to ask you guys this. What do you guys find irresistible about each other? Have you seen that booty? We <laughs> 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 love the honesty. <laughs> I'm an honest guy. That's what you're saying. It's funny. it's funny you said honesty <laughs> because when we just became friends, I told him that I liked him because of that brutal honesty. Right. That's what drew me to him. Because I've, most of my friends are very blunt and honest. And I like that about people because I feel as if you don't really have to search too deep to know who they are. Because right. mm -hmm. it's always going to come out first thing they speak. So right. that's why. Okay, so that's mm -hmm. one of the major reasons why we put a separation mm -hmm. between track and the relationship. Mm -hmm. Because we're like... We don't want it to be a case where we're bringing our relationship to the track or bringing mm -hmm. right. whatever to the track. It's like, okay, when you're at the track, we're teammates. So whatever it's, it's home, mm -hmm. we're going to leave yeah. it home. Yeah. Right. So once you get there, you're my, you're my teammate. I got to admit, they're my favorite track and field power couple. Um, Janelle Broomfield and Noel Eyes. They're such a great couple. And I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't really like Noel Eyes at first. I mean, I shouldn't say I didn't like him because I don't really know him. But um, the fact that he started to date a Jamaican queen, I said, okay, him can't be so bad. And then I really started to get into him. Now, I've always admired his talent as a runner. You know, but I mean, the flair and the big stuff. But then after a while, I realized that we kind of need no allies. We need people like that to make track and field the number one sport in the world. But anyway, I like his honesty. The booty, the booty. Yeah. <laughs> Your thoughts? Anyway, um, this amazing young athlete from uh, Franklin uh, High School. Her name is Skylar Franklin. Uh, U.S. born athlete, 400 meter sensation. How good? Let me show you how good. This was Kyla Franklin winning uh, the Brooks PR Invitational at the Brooks PR Invitational recently, running 52.01 seconds in the 400 meters to set a new meet record. This young lady is a high schooler in this race from last year. She is the favorite and is in lane four here. As we get the 400 underway, Brazel low and in full stride. Now it's just about strength here. That's Gardner out in late, eight and eight rather for a battle for second, but everyone's racing for second because Skylar Franklin, the sophomore, is gonna take the victory here, 52.01 new meet record well, she was second here last year you know well word is that the american born 16 year old skylar franklin who became the fastest 400 meter sophomore in u.s history with 51.66 to her credit this is in the 400 meters of course has chosen to represent jamaica she has jamaican citizenship by descent uh she will she'll be aiming to make the under 20 team for the 2024 championships in peru in august welcome to yard queen welcome to yard we also recently had lene Tava thomas 
who are switching allegiance from America to Jamaica. You saw her recently win the the 200 meters women's 200 meters in dominant form at the Racers Grand Prix. And she's definitely going to Paris to represent the island of Jamaica in the 200 meters. I'm sure about that one. That is Lene Tava Thomas. Off they come for the women's 200 meters. Thomas of Jamaica has come away well. Crooked curve coming from the Jamaican Thomas. Candice Hill trying to chase. Central has a shot to go. But it's Thomas who is well there. And she wins by a long way. That's close to her lifetime best. 22.36 is the flash time. Thomas. Now this of course is my two cents. Now I mean, remember about two years ago when Lene, Lene Tabor Thomas decided to represent for the island of Jamaica. Um, remember she was unable to run at the World Championships if my memory serves me correctly because the transfer did not take place in time. She's now repping the island and she's becoming one of her strongest contenders in the women's 200 meters. This young lady is very very talented about the 200, 400 meters. Uh, but she was, of course, US, running for the USA and switched allegiance to Jamaica or back to Jamaica. And it says a lot. And now we have this youngster, 16 years of age, um, fastest sophomore uh, 400 meter runner in, in the history of the United States, 51.66. That's very impressive. Just 16 years of age and already has decided that she's going to rep for Jamaica. Now, she's born in the United States, just like how Brianna Williams was born in the United States, but decided to run for Jamaica. How great can Jamaica be? I mean, the USA, in terms of facilities, etc., has more than any other country on the planet in terms of track and field. And for an athlete to choose to come and represent Jamaica when they're born as US citizens. And let me explain. Once you have Jamaican heritage, so your father is Jamaican or your mom is Jama Jamaican, then it means that you can choose to represent for the island of Jamaica. In Brianna Williams' situation, uh, it's her mom who is Jamaican. Not sure about uh, Lene Teva Thomas, but you, you could hear Lene, Lene Teva Thomas in an interview at Boston Patois. So you know, so she, yeah, she come here very, very, very often, right? So um, I just think this is a huge deal because this young lady is extremely talented in the 400 meters. Um, that's another, another one. Another one enters the fray for the island of Jamaica. Um, welcome to Yard Queen. Welcome to Yard. We are such an, an amazing um, country that an athlete would choose to leave the United States that has, I want to say it again, has all the facilities, all the finance, every everything you could need to become a world class athlete and decide to come and represent for the island of Jamaica. And let me say something to you, uh, uh, to, to, to my regulars here. And if you're not a regular, if you're first time here, welcome to Peter Lloyd World. You know, um, look, we should big up these people. Um, a Brianna Williams, we should big her up. We should big up the native of Thomas. We should big up this young lady, uh, Skylar Franklin. Uh, because I said they, they had another option and they decided to come and rep for Jamaica. So I think it's a big, big deal that these athletes um, are still choosing to rep for the island of Jamaica. And I had to do something on this. Some of you may never have heard about this young lady, but you're going to hear about her in, 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 um, in the near future. 51.66 in the 400 meters for a sophomore is, is, is a crazy time, people. That's a crazy, 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 crazy time in the 400 meters. That's a lot of talent. And um, it's, she's only going to make us more powerful and more strong and, and stronger. And, you know, I'm, I'm going I'm, I'm to drift into something else. My third point here. This, 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 this rumor about um, Brianna Liston leaving Jamaica to go run for the USA. No one has done that out of Jamaica in, in, de in ye I wouldn't say decade, but in years. Because the reason why people generally did that back in the day was because we just, they didn't think we had the facilities to create great champions. Um, we have all of that now. So almost nobody really needs to do that, to be very frank with you. And wherever you are, you can make just, some, just the same amount of money, if not more. So, um, hey, welcome um, to this young lady. Get to know her name, right? That's why I put her face on the thumbnail. Her name is Skylar Franklin, born in the USA of Jamaican descent. She's now repping for Jamaica. She's just 16 and she is the fastest sophomore in the 400 meters in the history of the United States with a time of 51.66. She is going to be repping for Jamaica um, 
and hopefully this year she'll be in Peru uh, on the Jamaican World Under 20 Championship team. But this, of course, is my two cents. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, notification bell, the like button. Remember, your royals, kings, and queens. Bless up.